Living in Byron, I love the ocean. It's great to get out in the waves. Sense of peace, calm, connectedness. I'm a certified speaking professional and I love presenting my conflict intelligent keynote at conferences. CI is about getting conflict smart. It's about gaining insight, skills, having a new mindset to conflict. My name is Scott Dutton. I'm a conflict expert and the creator of Conflict Intelligence. I travel extensively, speaking and training teams and organisations wanting to strengthen their workplace culture by building conflict intelligence. I deliver conflict insights and intelligence in really fun and humorous ways. And it really is engaging, it is interactive, people love it, and they'll walk away with some wisdom and insights that they can implement immediately into the workplace. You were brilliant. You were, you were fantastic. <laughs> Definitely the best speaker we've seen. Loved it. Yeah, it was awesome, mate. You were awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> Interacting, which was awesome. Oh, you like the Dalai Lama and Big Bird all in one person. <laughs> <laughs> Scott was fantastic. He had the crowd hanging on every word. Everybody loved it. Thank you, Scott. You, Scott, are the best that we have ever had. Thank you. So I really love conflict. And the reason for that is that I've been in the field for 20 years. I've dealt with hundreds and hundreds of conflicts. I've trained tens of thousands of people. And I see conflict as a real opportunity for insight, growth and transformation. What is a difficult conversation? Well, pretty much the crux of it is telling someone something they don't want to hear and you're worried about how they're going to react. That's what we worry about. That's what makes it hard. That's what makes it difficult. So obviously as a mediator, as a trainer, as a presenter, I need to be mindful. Now, there's lots of different definitions of mindfulness, but the one I think of the most it has two core components. The first one is about being present. It's about being aware of your presence. It's noticing the impact you have on others. You know, how much do you notice what you say, how you say it, how much you say, your body language, and how things land? Nice, no, good. This group's pretty quick. A bit slower over in the corner. <laughs> is that how the seating is like the. No, okay. What's that? Lovely. <laughs> I missed it twice, so I wasn't going to keep going. Uh, <laughs> that'd just be embarrassing. I'll be watching you. And I don't want any buts, because as soon as you add a but, it dismisses or discounts what has previously been said. Just get rid of the but and add an end. And what did you say? Sorry, I missed that. Oh, I'm not listening. <laughs> And that was the first time I met the Mayor of Nibbon. <laughs> I've travelled to India for over 20 years practising meditation. I get the connection between conflict and mindfulness. Often in conflict, we react automatically, unconsciously. The practice of mindful conflict helps us to become centred in the chaos of conflict. Conflict costs a lot of money and time. I'm able to come in and assist your team and organisations to transform not only conflicts, but to transform the culture into a conflict intelligent and conflict resilient workplace. If you're ready to lead your organisation into the future, let's get conflict intelligent. Until then, enjoy your conflict. <laughs>